All right, clarity is important. Do you have clarity with the signage in your field? Do you tell them where the field numbers are, directions? These are real pictures, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> all right, cover all the bases. If you don't warn them about them being stupid, you're at fault. In case of flood, climb to safety. No kidding, you really gotta tell them to do this? No hunting, no parking, no hunting, no fishing, no nothing. Violators will be prosecuted. That's a good one. I like that one. All right. Three different colors of signs that you need. And you've seen this in all the different fire stations. You've seen it in some of the police stations. Blue is informational. So anything regarded with information should be in color blue. Registration, chrono area, field locations. Yellow is caution, like on a stoplight. Goggles on, barrel blockers on, dead zone. Range, red is danger. You got first aid, danger entering a paintball field. Goggles required, emergency phone numbers. All that should be in red. We got a bunch of safety signs we made because they weren't out there and it was part of the insurance requirements ASTM standards. So our weekend warrior company does these. Um, they're in different colors for different reasons. Some people are used to just having yellow signs and they just want yellow signs. That's fine. As long as you have the signage, the color doesn't matter as much. But since there is a ASTM standard for the right color signs, for the right informational signs, if you follow the standards, you're going to be less at fault. There's a bunch of different ones. Handicap parking. You've got to have a handicap parking sign. There's so many people in wheelchairs that show up to play. All right. Where should the signs be placed? No brainer. If you're entering a paintball field, danger, entering paintball field, goggles required. Duh. Is it signed up right now? Goggles on. Prior to entering playing, chrono or hot area inside a playing area. Barrel blocking. You want it in the staging area before, ex before exiting that chrono area, before exiting the playing field or any hot area. First aid. You want to be able to know where they can get to the first aid. Exiting the field area should be assigned with an arrow telling them which direction. Chronograph area signs in the staging registration area, entrance to the chrono area. You want to tell them the feet per second that they can shoot at your field so it's advertised. Drinking water, you want to make sure they know where they can go get water and that you have it available for them. Air stations so they know where to go get air. What a concept. Field pain only, a lot of fields are field pain only. It'd be nice to let them know that when they get there so that it, when they wanna argue with you, you can say, as you drove in, it's right on that first pole, it's right there at the registration building, and it's right here in the staging area. What part didn't you understand? Location of your fields, what an idea. We have seven fields, where's field two? Go past the red dog, make a right turn, you'll find it over there. So many fields have no signage, it's crazy. Okay, before you enter the chrono area, tell them, you have to have goggles on. Children, put your goggles on. Barrel plug required on the field. When they're entering the field, goggles on. When they're leaving the field, tell them where they can get air. Speed limit in the, in the area, if they're driving around and you've got a large parking area, Tell them that they got to drive five miles an hour. Registration. Too many fields I've been to that you have no idea where to go to, to sign up. They drive up into your park, they're in their parking lot, and they get out and they go, oh, all those people are walking out, I'll go with them. They'll follow another group that's going onto a field. Emergency numbers. Post them. What a concept. How about a map of your field? Where the field's located so they can go look at it. The, the groups can come up and say, okay, we're going to go to, you know, Red Dog Field, so they know where it is. That shows where the air station, gun repair, rentals. It's not expensive, folks. A whiteboard, you put group information so when the birthday groups show up, they can get the information right there on the board, what they need to do next. Fill station signage, we covered that. Make sure your rules are posted so they know what the rules are. So when you enforce them, it's right there at registration. They ran into them. 
the safety rules by registration. You can have it on a board on the ground. You can have it up on the wall. We had it on a four by eight sheet of plywood. They had, no, they had to walk by it to get to the registration. They didn't miss it. This field owner likes signs. We like that. 